Good morning, guys. This is Cassie with King Kate Special Creations. Today we are going to work on making the clothespin carrots. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of making all three of these. So let's get started. Okay, your first thing would be any clothespin will do that has a little clip on it. You just separate it and pull the little clip off. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. Writing's not going to matter on it because I'm going to glue them together. Okay, for the one, you'll just need the one clothespin. For this one, you will need three clothespins. I'm going to go ahead and separate them all so I have them ready to paint. And there is the three. And in this case, it has four. All right, this is a cutting pad, an old cutting pad that I had. You can see it's got scratches and stuff on it. I just turned it into my little paint thing. And this is the orange acrology paint from Dollar Tree. I found it. It, it paints really good on plain wood. And you just paint it. Paint the whole thing orange. Now on this one I'm not going to paint the very top of it because that's going to be the part that we paint green to represent the leaves. But the rest of this is all going to get painted orange. And don't forget the little tip at the bottom. Then you just set it off to the side and let it dry. So just th on these we're going to paint the whole thing because we're going to put a different set of stuff in for the Easter grass. Uh, like to take this opportunity while I'm just sitting here painting and ask you to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already please do so I'm trying to build my base up to uh, be able to you know do a little bit more with YouTube I'm back. Now we're going to put these um, clothespins together to form a carrot. So what we're going to do, need is a hot glue gun. This is one I picked up at, I'm thinking Joann's. It's well used. Well loved. I like this one. I have another one, but it's so hot that it takes forever for it to set up these And sometimes it doesn't want to set up at all. So be mindful of your hot glue gun. We're going to put three together. And then put a, a, our carrot that has only three. To get this done, you just take, just like I've um, like you're going to put them together, put your layer of glue on both sides. And I like to put them together. I learned this after I did my Facebook Live, which if you haven't watched, please go to Facebook and speak Kincaid Special Creations and watch our live. We did a fairly decent job. I'm really proud of us, considering it's our first time doing a live. We plan to do that every couple of weeks. So be ready, prepared. This one was all about carrots. Now, take my greenery. This is just an old sprig of 
off of a garland I had. Had a little um, pine sprig. And I'm going to glue it in here. Just put your big dollop of glue in there. Stick your stem in. Let it sit there and set up. Because sometimes hot glue takes a minute depending on what type of materials you're using. It may be do it really quick like with paper. Now look how pretty that carrot is. Look. Isn't that pretty? Okay, the next one I'm going to put together is the uh, orange one that we, um, the one we just painted up so far in orange and then I painted the top with some green. We just got these two. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and just like the other ones, we're going to stick it together. And then we're going to, that's going to be done. You can put that on a garland. You could, like, if it's got the hole in it. I don't know if you can see the hole or not, but it's got a hole where you can you can put garland through and hang it on a garland. Put it on your tear tray or whatever. And the last one I'm going to do is the four. And this one, you do the same way. You put uh, one on top of the other one, and this one goes underneath. Try to make them as flat as you can, but well, sometimes you can get them to stand up. Pick up your thing and stick it down in there. There you go. There's the fourth carrot. Okay, and that's it. That's how it is to make a one for a garland, a three if you wanted to put it uh, up against, like in a little basket or something that the fourth one isn't going to be showing anyway, so you just lay that in a basket. And this one could be stood up on a tear, on the, uh, there you go, on the tear tray. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like, subscribe. Let me know if you subscribe. You know, give me a smiley face or a heart, something that will let me know that you subscribe so I can add you to my subscriber list. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.